On Tuesday, China extended tariff exemptions on 16 U.S. products for another year at the request of the Chinese importers. We found out that the U.S. manufacturing production increased in August. New York manufacturing index jumped more than expected in September. Canadian manufacturing sales increased for the third consecutive month. But the UK jobless rate rose, sounded warning for bigger job losses ahead, and New Zealand consumer confidence hit the lowest level since 2008. Welcome to the Tick Mill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Investment Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tick Mill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Wednesday, we'll be eyeing inflation numbers from the UK and Canada as well as a series of high-impact data from the U.S., such as the retail sales and the Fed interest rate decision. We'll then head into the next day's Asian session with New Zealand's GDP growth rate, Australia's employment report, and Japan's interest rate decision. So a very busy day ahead. Today I'm looking at the Euro-Yen pair, which appears to be in the process of forming a head and shoulder bearish reversal chart pattern after finding resistance at 126.60. But the neckline of this chart pattern and the daily Ichimoku cloud are acting as a support. The pair might continue ranging between 124 and 126 before it finally finds a new direction. A break below the Ichimoku cloud would confirm the bearish reversal in the longer time frame. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you the best of luck with your trading.